Uh, my name is Soraya. This is my um, submission for my persuasion, uh, my persuasive speech. Um, so to begin, you're sneezing, you're coughing, you're getting germs everywhere, especially in the pandemic. Everywhere hurts and you just cannot stand being sick anymore. You go to the doctor, they give you a prescription for an antibiotic. Now you have to take it three times daily um, with food until you start to feel better. You absolutely hate taking medication. But do you really need an antibiotic for a common cold? According to my research, um, to Mercilona, one thing you may not realize is that while antibiotics are busy killing off the bad bacteria that can cause and prolong certain infections, they also kill the good bacteria as well. One thing that I would like for you to try is using essential oils. Yes, essential oils instead of medication because unlike drugs, essential oils work with your body, cause no side effects, and allow you to live a healthier and longer life. In this country alone, more people die from doctor's prescriptions every 10 days than were killed within the 9-11 terrorist attacks. While pharmaceutical medicines can leave a large range of advantages, the damage they are doing to our bodies make them a controversial topic no matter how careful a doctor is while prescribing medications to patients. And of course, the way that patients are aware of taking these prescribed medications, the, the faculties still happen. This is very interesting because as myself and my pharmacy technician and um, technically stand on the side of wanting these prescriptions um, or giving these prescriptions to my patients, deep inside of me, I'm still um, thinking about the alternative rather than taking medication straight on. Um, there's a tradition in my family where if, for example, you have something as simple as a headache, you do not grab the Tylenol. You either try to take a nap, you try to massage your head, you try, of course, smelling the essential oils, trying to activate your senses to take away the, the headache. If you're not to succeed in the first few hours or possibly the day, that's when you pop in the pill. But essential oils overall are a healthy alternative to prescribed medications, generally because they do not include additional negative side effects, as they are nature's way of healing the body. While there's definitely a necessity for traditional medicine, whether that be for pain relief, antibiotic, or drugs for serial illnesses like cancer, there are also home remedies um, being essential oils that may take place in these treatments. Um, they're the um, highly concentrated version of natural oils in plants and might be used for a good range of physical and emotional wellness. Your body can handle and eliminate a limited amount of artificial medications. Unfortunately, once, the, once time passes, your liver and kidney and other organs in your body don't know what to try and do with this man-made substance. The FDA alone states that when taking medications, one must decide the risk that you're able to take and accept as to induce the advantages that you would like. However, it's not like that um, taking care of the psychological conditions, which is why essential oils are so much healthier and a smarter, smarter alternative. Medications offer many benefits like relieving pain, lowering blood pressure, perhaps even calming one's nerves. On the opposite hand, the risk of medications are the chances of something unwanted or unexpected could happen once you use them. Side note, as side effects. An overdose on essential oils will result in drying out the skin instead of those seizures or internal bleeding that some medications cause when overdosed. It is completely safe to mix and match essential oils um, with each other, but that's something that you have to be cautioned with um, with medications as they can contradict each other. Uh, for example, Tylenol, not so much with Warfarin. It will completely backfire while you're trying to treat two different um, situations that are going on with your body that is trying to tell you something. It, you have to either choose. Do you want to take care of the pain or did you want to um, maintain yourself to be receiving the proper oxygen as that is a blood thinner? Um, people often prefer to use a blend of oils to reach certain benefits like the respiratory blend which is a combination of peppermint, a peppermint essential oil, tea tree, lemon, to appease your breathing and alleviate congestion. You will also use essential oils at any point of the day, as often as you like, rather than with the prescription, it's written to be three times a day, every eight hours, every 15 minutes, once a day. You can use it as much as you like with essential, excuse me, essential oils. 
It is best to research thoroughly before using the essential oils, though, to see which oils are best for your needs overall. So I hope that this can convince you that nature is how medic is how medication or medicine even um, even started. Yes, I am a pharmacy technician, but that has nothing to do with me trying to only convince pills in your mind that will or drugs that will um, most likely convince your body that you feel better. Placebos do exist. There are some people that really do take medications and it literally does not fix their body. It just the idea of taking that pill heals them. Why is that not the same with the essential oils? Or with um, home remedies, it's like taking a nap, trying to do a massage, yoga, therapy, um, talking it out with someone, your situation of what's making your body hurt or what's making a person sensitive or overthink in general. I just hope that you take this into account and apply this to your own life. Let me know your opinion on it, um, how you actually apply it to your own life. And I look forward to your responses. Thank you so much and have a good one.